The Da Vinci Junior is a 3D printer with one major difference from the vast majority of its competitors, its price. We take a look at its key features to see if it's a device worth having in your home. <laughs> 3D printers have been widely available in technology stores for quite a few years now, but that's hardly led to them flying off the shelves. That's mainly down to two factors, their high cost of around £1,000 and the fact that most of us wouldn't know what to do with one beyond printing a few curios to decorate our desks. With the Da Vinci Junior, XYZ Printing is looking to remedy at least one of these by pricing the printer at a relatively affordable £300. The Da Vinci Junior has been designed for simplicity, which means there's no assembly or calibration required. Should you hit any snags in the setup process, however, you'll find a library of videos on the company's site designed to cover installation and use. At 42 by 43 by 38 centimetres, the printer should hardly take up more space than a regular printer, though it does mean that any objects you print are limited to 15 centimetres cubed. You can set the resolution of the printed object from 100 to 400 microns, with the 400 setting allowing you to print quick drafts and the 100 micron setting perfect for producing fine detail, albeit at the expense of consuming more thermoplastic. When the inevitable happens and you do run out of thermoplastic, you can buy a replacement cartridge at a cost of £35, or you can replace the thermoplastic spool for around £24, though this will require you to open up an existing cartridge yourself. From pirate ships to never-before-seen Lego bricks, you'll find all kinds of pre-existing blueprints on XYZ's website. However, with the printer lacking a 3D scanner, you'll have to be an expert in 3D design software to build your own bespoke objects. £300 is certainly a good price for a 3D printer and might see the technology make the leap into more and more homes. However, unless there's a project you're about to undertake that requires all sorts of plastic parts, it's unlikely you'll get much use out of it once the initial novelty wears off. Perhaps, for now at least, 3D printing still remains the domain of the 3D engineer, the medical scientist and the printing enthusiast.